first, we continue to track Tropical Storm Nicole. After the 10 p.m. advisory, the storm is nearing hurricane strength. Let's check in with CBS4 Next Weather Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Cabrera. Ivan, what's the latest? Yeah, I think it'll be Hurricane Nicole uh, tomorrow morning. No question here as it continues to intensify. In fact, 70 miles an hour. That's what the current maximum sustained winds are, 74. And you have a hurricane, so we're borderline here. And uh, so this will be uh, one of the last advisories where we call it uh, a tropical storm. Look at the rainfall, though, to 300 miles to the west of this. And uh, the wind field is expansive, particularly across the northern part of the uh, circulation here. And I'll show you uh, what we're talking about as far as the uh, potential wind gusts and also the rainfall. 310 miles to the east here. It will continue to intensify. That uh, west-southwest movement, that's new. That's expected. It is not going to continue to do that down towards south Florida. It is going to start feeling the trough across the southeastern U.S. That's going to pull it up and uh, knock it back out to sea. But not before it traverses through the entire state here with heavy rain and some gusty winds. It's close up on the cone. You'll be able to see again a hurricane here, Category 1, 75 mile an hour winds tomorrow at 7. And then between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m., if you kind of dissect that there, uh, the line there, that would be around 1 a.m. in the morning. So tomorrow night, landfall somewhere. We don't know where the landfall is going to be. This is the cone, right? It could be anywhere from Palm Beach County all the way up towards uh, Brevard and to Melbourne and north of where it makes landfall is where the worst of the storm surge is going to be. We're looking at the potential uh, for, uh, you know, above four feet up there. Hurricane Watch, why in Broward? Well, the National Hurricane Center is still thinking that there is the potential for some isolated hurricane force winds in Broward County. I think that will be, uh, if that materializes, very isolated indeed and across um, northern Broward here. I'm thinking, you know, 30, 50 mile an hour wind gusts, absolutely. Tropical storm warning in effect for Broward. And then it's a hurricane warning up to the north. Coastal flooding, that's going to be an issue. One to two feet across Miami-Dade and then two to four feet from Broward and then it's going to be more significant up to the north. That is all the time I have. Let's check in with uh, Cindy Presser to take us through the next couple of days with the rainfall and the wind. Cindy. And Ivan and I were just talking about how fast these tropical downpours are moving from the northeast to the southwest. Measured this at 31 miles per hour. They are really kicking it out there. These little showers will continue overnight. All this moisture coming in from the Atlantic right now. We've had some heavy downpours in spots. Look at the rainfall rate as much as an inch and a quarter per hour. And they're moving fast, though, so that's helping out. So we're probably not going to see a lot of flash flooding out there, not due to the heavy rainfall, but it's going to be because of the cold coastal uh, flooding that is going along the coastal areas there. So we'll kind of bring this down hour by hour. Gusty winds, of course, kicking in really by tomorrow afternoon, but these heavy downpours, that's going to be the case going into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Of course, the center of Nicole coming across Florida, making it all the way back across. We're going to see improving weather conditions as we get into the end of the week. For the time being, we're going to deal with some very raw conditions, wind, rain, all the way through tomorrow. Temperatures topping out in the 80s. Both days are alert days. Then we get into better weather for the weekend. Very low chance for rain. And that's your next next weather.